Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it slow. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for being here. So in today's video, I want to do a little bit of organization. Actually, we are still settling in into our new house. So the house isn't still in order. I'm trying so hard to put everything in place. So I've been uh, in that process. I've been ignore, ignoring all my clothes. I haven't run any laundry. So I've been piling up and the heap is too much so i just want to do all the laundry i'll start by sorting the whites then go to the dull colors as i go also to the darker colors so that is what i want to do as i leave the laundry to run i'll still uh, do the rest of the things in the house if you are new here thank you for being here and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing to my channel where we do everything about home and also we do recipes and also vlogs here and there if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much if you are new here and you have subscribed thank you thank you so much for being here so i'll just run the laundry then i'll go into the kitchen i just have a few dishes that i'm going to do uh, before i can make breakfast though i'll not show you the breakfast but that is what i'll, I'll basically do Once I'm done with the dishes, I'm going to clean the surfaces of the kitchen and I'm using a Stonish kitchen cleaner, Ruby Grapefruit. It really smells amazing and does a very good job when it comes to the surfaces of the kitchen. I'm also going to clean the windows. I'm just wiping them. I'm going to use the Pixie window and glass cleaner. It, it's really good and gives a very crystal shine to the windows. I'm still using the Astonish kitchen cleaner to clean the tiles, uh, the rest of the tiles. Also this cabinet, I'm going to remove all the things that are inside there, mostly the knives and the spoons that I don't use. I'm going to also use the Astonish kitchen cleaner to still clean the, the place, uh, the cabinet, because I found it cleaning uh, 
almost everywhere in the kitchen but in the microwave i'll still use that uh, astonish although i'm supposed to be using the oven cleaner but i don't have the oven cleaner at the moment and also i've run out of the vinegar so i'll still use it to clean inside the microwave but on the glass part i'm using the pixie glass and window cleaner I'm using hot water to mop the floors. I've added some liquid soap into the water. Lately, I've been having a habit of using hot water on the floors because I feel like it really disinfects the floors. I feel like under the sink is so open so I'm still figuring out how I'm going to put the doors and also some cabinets so that it is easier for me to store most of my pots and the things that I actually don't use. I'm done cleaning up the kitchen and this is how uh, the kitchen looks like. I decided to put the dish rack over here because I feel it is convenient to just uh, let it be there. This is how my uh, window looks like. The cleaning detergent, I decided just to let them uh, stay over there until I set up a place to put all my cleaning detergents. And also this is how my cabinets look like. All the dishes, I put them up there. I, that is the only place I could find a uh, convenient for them to be there. Also, all my spices, my cereals, all my flowers, I've decided to put them over here. I'm yet to reorganize this place and make it uh, look more neat. All the bottles and the snacks and also more of the cereals are, are here. So this is the setup of my kitchen and this is how it looks like. Feel your heart I haven't been able to organize this place properly. I'll be able to organize it once I put up the cabinets and also the doors to this place. So I'm going to continue with the laundry. I had to change my clothes because uh, there were spills of water on my clothes. So I had to change the clothes and continue with the laundry that I had left uh, to run. So here I'm going to speed up my laundry by just uh, hand doing them after cleaning in the machine. I'm going to drain the water and then I'm going to rinse using my hands just to speed up the laundry because the weather ain't looking so good and I don't want my clothes to be rained on. As I had said earlier, I'm still on with the organization. So here I have the sleeping bags for my kids, which uh, they do use for church camping when they go for church events. So I'm keeping them away because uh, they are not going to uh, use them uh, very soon. That is why I just want to store them in the containers and put them away. Place we can hide. We can make it on Dancing in your halo. 
Honestly, everything is everywhere and I felt so tired of trying to put things together and I I could not figure out where to put what and where not to put what. So I decided to just figure out on which uh, thing fits uh, where. So here I have the kids books that I just want to put inside there so that when they, their bags dry up, they are able to find their books uh, so that they can put them back to their bags. Honestly, I'm tired of always moving with these bags, yet they have nothing important inside there. Most of them just have books, books that uh, we don't use anymore. Some of the, the books are kids' books that they have been using in the previous classes, which are not that important. So I'm going to remove those books, just keep them away, and then I'm going to figure out on what to do with them. Then I'm going to actually store these bags inside the container, but I'll still come back, remove the bags, wipe them, so that whenever I want to travel, I get a good bag uh, that is actually clean. So whatever that is important, I'm going to store inside here. This mat over here, we used to, we tried crocheting it during the COVID uh, period, but when kids resumed back to school, we stopped uh, making the mat. So I'm going to also put away the clothes that we no longer use. Maybe the torn clothes, some of the clothes that are uh, don't fit us anymore, we can give them away. These are most of the books that I had bought last time. They are very new. They have kept them. They are very new. So I'm going to keep them in uh, in a place that they keep that have kept their books. I decided to put these uh, books over here that place over there that I've shown you where I put the books so that I can figure out on how to make a bookshelf for them to keep their books. I'll go ahead and change their bed sheet, sweep the floors and also mop the floors. I had not wiped the outside of the cabinet, so I'm still using the Astonish Kitchen Cleaner to wipe the outside of the cabinets.
I'm finally done with the organizing. So I just want to sweep everything. As you can see, we have a lot of dirt that came from the things that I was getting rid of. So I'm going to sweep uh, this place before I can mop it. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go too. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it For my floors, I'm still using hot water and liquid soap to mop them. You ask me how we got here, cause you don't know how. You say we're taking on water, yeah, we're sinking now. You're looking all concerned, like we're gonna drown. But we both know how to swim, no worries, let's go for now. Let's take it slow, where you go, I go too. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. With my bedroom, I won't be doing much, just uh, sweeping the floor and also mopping them. You know you'll have a good time wherever you My living room is such a mess but I decided to just pick everything first from the floor and dust the seat before I can start the cleaning. The purpose of such videos is to motivate you to clean up your space. You might be going through something that is really making uh, things so hard for you to even clean up your space. I hope you get to draw the motivation from such videos. For the table and the TV stand, I'm going to use the Maxell Oxygen Cleaner to wipe the places. As I always say, the Maxell Oxygen Cleaner really smells amazing and really shines the surfaces. Me, how we got here, 
Since the other carpet is still dirty and I haven't been able to wash it, the weather still ain't so good. So I'm not going to do the washing now. I'm going to use this small carpet that I used to use in the bedroom in the previous house to just uh, lay it there. And I was done. The living room was so clean. This is how the living room looks like. I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Finally, to wind up the cleaning, I'm going into the kids' bathroom. I'm going to scrub the bathroom because since we moved in, I haven't been able to scrub this uh, bathroom. But I'm just going to scrub it. On the walls, I'm also going to wipe just a little bit. And then I'll be looking for something that uh, is going to uh, make me reach the heights. It's very tall. The walls are very tall. So I need something to be able to scrub the walls. So I'll go in with my hurricane uh, toilet cleaner and also the scoring powder. Let the scoring powder and the hurricane cleaner settle in the toilet before I can come back and clean the toilet. I'll still use the uh, scoring powder on the floors. I'll mix with some uh, hurricane cleaner and also some uh, detergents and then I'm going to scrub the floors. <music> I'm using Astonish Multipurpose Cleaner to wipe the walls. You asked me how we got here, cause you don't know how. You say we're taking on water, yeah, we're sinking now. You're looking all concerned, like we're gonna drown. But we both know how to swim, no worries, let's go for now. Let's take it slow, where you go, I go too. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a As we finish up this video, we are going to finish up with some food. And for today's dinner, I'm making some ugali and uh, some okra and also some uh, 
stew so stick around and see what you're going to make for dinner i'm going to start with ugali making ugali is always a struggle Lately when you dice the tomatoes and cook them minus blending them, honestly they don't cook so I decided to just blend my tomatoes. So I'll add oil into my pan then add the diced onions and garlic. I'm going to mix them until they are golden brown and then I'm going to go in with spices. I'm using curry powder and also I'm using some turmeric. I've added the uh, blended tomatoes. I'm going to mix them well. Let them cook for some time before I can bring in the next ingredient. So these are some of the fresh okras. I had bought them and uh, put them in the fridge. I'm going to use okra in making my stews. I love okra but this is the only way I cook my okra and it is the only way my kids can tolerate it. So I'm going to add the okra inside the tomatoes, cook them for a while then add the goat meat that I had already boiled. Goat meat really goes well with okra no doubt. It tastes amazing. Even the sliminess of the okra is not so much in when you mix with the goat meat. So I've added in the broth that I had used to cook the goat meat and the tastes in there, I'm telling you, they're amazing. I've added the peppers, the red, yellow and green pepper and also some spring onion for some extra flavors. And the food is done. It's delicious. We did take with ugali and I loved it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you in my next video thank you for being here thank you for always coming back until the next time bye guys you know you'll have a good time wherever you're